Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm talking about a very specific position with your grip. This is going to allow you to properly hinge the golf club once you hit the top of the back swing. All right, this one is absolutely vital. So if you're looking to hit your irons more pure, hit your driver longer, then you better get this position with your grip. All right, hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. And please tell all your friends about my tips. There's a lot of other people out there that need help too. So here's a big problem that I see a lot of people having in their golf swing, and that's because they're doing the wrong grip. So with your hands in this position, it's really affecting the hinge at the top of your backswing. You're not able to set the golf, golf club properly once you hit the top. So what it is, it's the bottom hand right here. Okay, so when we get our bottom hand on, we want to make sure that this is in the exact position. So I'm going to show it to you and then you've got to kind of follow along and make sure that you are really working on this. Okay. Cause like I said, if you get to the top here and you are not fully hinged, you are in a position where you could potentially cast the golf club. You could then be using your arms to try and hit the golf ball, that sort of thing. So we want to be in a great position with our lower hand on the golf club in the correct position. So then we can hinge perfectly up at the top. All right. So let me show you what I'm looking at and then you can kind of start working on this in your own golf swing. So looking down at my hands here, what you're going to see my top hand, is in a neutral position. That means I can see two knuckles right here. My thumb is slightly off center. So this would be weak, thumb straight down, one knuckle. This would be too strong, thumb is off to the side, one, two, three knuckles. All right, so I want to be in a neutral position. Now, with this hand, I'm going to try and hold the club in the fingers right here. I'm doing that because I'm wrapping this hand on top. All right. So now what the position of this hand is, it's like a question mark right here. See, it kind of looks like a question mark like that. Thumb is against the side and this is squeezed together right in here. All right. So with that question mark, that's the piece that is so important. Some people kind of have their hand on sort of like this. A lot of people have their hand on with their thumb down the grip and that's the problem. Okay. And I'll show you that in a second here. So what we want to do, we want to go fingers. We need to make this question mark right here. So if I go like that and I, I see it just easily slips on like that. And you can separate this finger just a tiny bit in here to make the question mark. See, I've already got it right here. I'm going to put it on right there. Okay. So you can see when I do that question mark, that gives me this V right here. That V is going to cradle the golf club once I hit the top of the backswing. So let me put it on like this. And now we're going to go up to the top. Okay. So when I hit the top of the backswing right here, here is the V I'm talking about right here. Okay. The club is being cradled in that V. See the question mark right here. So there it is right there. Okay. And that's what I was talking about right there. Because what happens is if you go like this and your thumb is straight down the grip and you go into your backswing, that right there is going to compress this thumb. If you try to hinge, that's going to compress your thumb. Now your brain isn't going to like that too much. So what it's going to do, it's going to lock your wrists because it's putting down pressure on this thumb right here. All right. So you're going to lock your wrists. As soon as you do that, now you're going to be likely to cast the golf club. And certainly you will be trying to hit the ball with your arms because now you've you've kind of lost the hinge. See, I'm here like this. 
I'm allowing the wrist to fully hinge right here, resting in that V right there. Like I said, it's like cradling the club. Okay, I do not have the thumb on there. Now, if you're someone that kind of has a big gap right in here, now your club is gonna wiggle all over the place. Okay, you don't want that. You need, that's why you need right here, you need this together right here. So the club rests in that V right there. Okay, now I can fully hinge my wrists at the top of the backswing. All right, so now I can come down. I've got the lag angle and then it's gonna release. All right, so looking at it in the actual golf swing, here's what I'm getting at. If your thumb is straight down the grip, you will get to the top like this. And instead of hinging fully, that would put down pressure on your thumb right here. Your thumb is not gonna like that. <laughs> so what it's gonna do, it's gonna go, oh, that feels kind of weird. I'm gonna lock up, okay? If you don't believe me, just try it, okay? Put your thumb straight down and then try to hinge your wrist. You're gonna feel it right here. You're not gonna like that. So you're gonna go like this. And now you haven't hinged your wrists. So in this area here, you're gonna get like this. You might even break too much at the lead elbow, okay? Because the grip is resting on your thumb. So what I'm getting at is, if you do the question mark, you've got your hand on like this. You have the V right here. Now, when you hit the top, your club can rest in the V right here. That means you can allow the club to fully hinge in your wrists. You're gonna feel compression in your uh, top thumb, you know, your lead arm right here. You're gonna feel that. There's no getting rid of that, but I don't want you to feel it in this thumb here, okay? We are letting it rest in that V when we hit the top of the backswing, okay? So hopefully you see that. You know, I have taught so many people and that alone is really a swing killer because they can't hinge the golf club fully. Well, if you can't hinge the club fully, there's no way you're gonna develop, you know, proper lag and the release that it's gonna take to hit long and straight shots. Okay, so we wanna set the club perfectly up there so that we even have a chance to do it in the down and through swing. All right, so I really want you to try and do a neutral grip. If you don't know anything about me, I promote a neutral grip. And there's many, many reasons for that. You know, this kind of would be one of them. If you're here like this, you do a strong grip and you back your, hand, your bottom hand off, well, the thumb is on the grip. So if you go like that, you're gonna feel the compression I'm talking about. You do a neutral grip, Right here, your bottom hand is more on top. Now, don't get me wrong, don't do a weak grip. It's right here. This line matches this line between my back ear and shoulder. I just don't want it way off to the side, okay? So just slightly off center. Now you've got the V right here. Now you can set the club at the top of the backswing. Hopefully you understand that. Look for the question mark I was talking about and showed you, and then try to work your hand into that position. I've done it for a long time, so I can just easily do that. You know, other people, they haven't done it. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but now you know the importance of it. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.